hello Ooh. hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the virtual life sorry virtue if you're not new here wait no if you are new here i'm virtue this is my channel and welcome um to be fair excuse the bonnet the headscarf i look so i was gonna put like makeup and glam up just from this video then i was like no because it's currently 5 p.m and i have so much coursework to do and i don't want to put makeup on so i was like no so i'm going to film this video looking like this and you guys are gonna enjoy it period anyways today's video is all about civil engineering modules and you know what this was a highly requested video and it's not one of those things i just say all the time well i do but this one was actually requested like 100 people wow said oh my gosh you should make a video about this i was like whoa i will so today's video is all about structural engineering and i can't lie to you you probably think what the hell is that because i said the same thing when i was um in what's called secondary school actually in secondary school i didn't even know what structural engineering was about um it's only when i came to uni that i realized the massive discipline in civil engineering so if you want to learn about structural engineering what the coursework entail the assignments um theory the practice the practical side of things and you know just talk then carry on watching this according to my book structures a structure has been defined as any assembler of materials which is intended to sustain loads so any assembly that is intended to sustain loads so we can list a couple structures bridges dams offices buildings all of those are structures and so structural engineering is the engineering behind those structures like the loads applied um the materials the forces just designing designing the structure and when i say designing i don't mean like coloring in and like drawing and like what archit like architectural design i mean like you pick a section and you make sure that your design which is the section you picked um withstands the load involved structural engineering is a big part in civil engineering so if you're going to study this then you have to get in tune with structural engineering and a couple other disciplines but we're going to talk about those in later videos so these are the two main books i have about structural engineering one is structural design for principle and the other one is structures or why things don't fall down anyways this one is very informative but it's like a, a light read it's not as intense as this one this one's actually a book that, to help you with calculations it has work examples it has equations and all of that this one's basically just explaining the theory but like you know with pictures and it's easy read so structural engineering plays a big part in both first second third and fourth year basically throughout your whole degree if you're doing a master's so oh my bonnet is falling deep Anyways, in first year, we had a structural engineering module, but it wasn't called structural engineering, but it was structural engineering. Um, but in first year, you learn about the foundation. I'm not talking about skin foundation. I'm talking about we're building up the foundation to really build things upon. So, like, we're talking about the core things you need to know for structure. So, like, the loads, the different types of loads, the different types of support, pin, rolled, cantilevered, the different types of, like, um, elements, like, structural elements, like columns, beams, plate girders, um bracings connections all of that so that was all the things we learned in first year it wasn't really hard the maths was the maths was kept to minimum it wasn't like intense um maths it was just like resolving forces or like you have a beam that's subjected to a point load and you had to find out the reaction forces so it wasn't majorly but it was enough for you to like know how to do structural engineering, structural engineering for first principle then we get on to second year which is the year i did last year second year whoa structural engineering came a big like it was a massive jump it um from one module to two modules structural design and materials and structural analysis structural design and materials is why i have this book because a lecturer um this is his book and he recommended it so i bought it because i like having hard copies rather than online things and to be fair it's really useful because i'm still using in this still using this now in third year and i feel like i'm going to use it in fourth year um so structural design and materials is basically talking about like um the main structural materials like concrete and steel and then with steel we'll talk about steel columns steel beams and the loads those are subjected to and the checks you can do so if it's if they have a applied load of like 500 kilonewtons you want to make sure that um this beam can withstand that um the deflection check the shear check the class the class check so there's a lot of checks okay and then we i know so we learn about the theory more theory so like um global buckling critical buckling, local buckling, effective length, this, that. We were just learning, about, we learned a lot in the second year about structural engineering. And structural analysis was more applying the maths and structural 
designer materials was more applying the theory and just really understanding it they go they both went hand in hand like they're both in connect in um they're both connected and that's why like one helped with one exam the other one helped with the other exam and then as we jump to third year which is the year i'm currently in structural engineering that module what i'm doing right now in first semester was basically a build up from second year um second year modules it was more intense there was more calculations to remember the coursework was very 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 detailed uh, basically the coursework which is 50 percent of our module we had to design a still the still work for an office building and when i say design i mean everything the beams the columns the plate girder the bracing the connection we're talking about um thin plate connection the beams we had to choose a cross section from the euro codes and a euro code is basically a, a document confirm to if you're trying to build a structure in europe so it has like different like effective like if you're looking for something with an effective like this it will tell you what you should do it's just like guidelines on how you should follow when you're doing your checks or when you're um designing anything to do with structural engineering there's a um euro codes three which is mainly for steel and then there's euro codes two there's an annex which also adds onto the euro codes like if you don't know about the euro codes get to know about the euro codes because <laughs> you can't avoid using them and you definitely use them in real life and i think that's what's good about third year engineering this course where even though it was so intense i'll put pictures we had to, i had to draw the the building up in revit and then we needed to do, we needed to do the analysis anyways but like this course where put all the theory we we were actual structural engineers for like a week because she said on monday it was during friday we were doing all the checks we we're using the euro codes we we're using documents that you would use in real life we we're doing calculations that you would do in real life obviously not by hand because you would have some kind of computer software to speed it up but you were doing all the checks that you would do in real life and then once you designed it you'd be like wow i designed that building <laughs> so like once i finished in that long thought i'm telling you my my whole calculation came up to 35 pages, 35 pages, 5,000 words of just pure checks, deflection check, shear check, class check, buckling check, lateral buckling resistance, everything, moment check. We were doing all the check, 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 check. And that was for beams and columns, primary beams, secondary beams, external columns, internal columns, because they both have different loads. I'm talking about everything. So like, yeah, it was an intense coursework, but I actually enjoyed it looking back at it it was really painful during while i was doing it but like looking back at it it was um it was all right anyways yeah and so we had to draw the building up on revit and revit's one of the softwares you can use for structural engineering because it's really good for designing big structures like offices bridges and um it allows you to choose beam section column section that you would actually have to use in real life and also we um another software structural engineering software is called sap which is um oh a software where you can draw the draw a design and then analyze it you put in like the constraints the loads the different geometric parameters and then you analyze and you get like feedback and another one we used last year was called abacus and abacus like you draw something on there and you apply a point load you can see the deflection it will give you like many many different diagrams and you can you can actually look you can see what you're looking for um yeah so we actually use a lot of softwares in structural engineering and now I'm going to get on to, like, do I enjoy structural engineering? When I was doing the coursework, yeah, I really, like, let me not lie. When I was doing the coursework, oh, my gosh, I was in so much pain. I, no, one, no one expected it to be this long and this, I wouldn't even say hard because what we're doing wasn't hard. It was just longer, repetitive and mundane. Okay, the first check, calm. Second check, calm. But fifth time, I'm the fifth check in, I'm just like, anyways and the thing is there's no right and wrong answer because there's many sections you could choose okay you just have to make sure your section meets the meets the criteria and and, and checks out so there was no right or wrong answer so people could be like oh yeah i chose this section oh yeah i chose this section and like you could there's no right or wrong answer so as long as you justify it and as long as you your calculations prove that this particular section meets the checks so yeah at the time it was great but now looking back it was so repetitive that i felt like it was great for a one-time thing but if it was a, a long future career path i wouldn't personally want to do it because um it seems a lot like a lot of desk work like in real life you're not actually going to do all this calculation you're going to have some kind of mad mad excel sheet that would do or some kind of actual computer software that would do it all of this so it feels like a lot of plugging in numbers but i guess it's like once you've done the design you can see it well not see it but like you know that you've you've designed a column in this massive stadium that's going to house like 85,000 people and you've designed that one column even if it's just one column you've still designed it so i get you have that sense of like reward of like ah, 
actual i did i designed it but i don't know if that's enough to keep me going in this but it's a really interesting field i definitely underrated it and this coursework i've learned so much in structural engineering from this coursework that i had in like three years i mean i guess like i was building up from the prior knowledge to apply it to this coursework but i finally could say like i I can I can read the euro codes. I can read the section tables. I know what it is. I know what I would. I know what the annex is. I know what what column and beam checks I need to do. I know about lateral um the braces, the longitudinal braces, the transverse braces. Like I said, I feel like I know a lot now. That would I ever use again? Maybe if I go into the field. But um, it's 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 useful knowledge, and I can take that to fourth year because fourth year there's an advanced structural engineering module if you want to carry on with structural engineer. Um, I haven't decided what I'm doing fourth year, so don't ask me that. Anyway, so like the module's really interesting. I'll put pictures up randomly. Sorry, I should have paused and put pictures up, but I'll put pictures up to show you what I'm talking about, and I might even click insert a clip of me like show you my course because I'm telling you it's 35 pages. But yeah. I hope that answers like what structural engineering is because I know I personally didn't know what it was until I came to uni and I started this degree. But structural engineering is one of the main, is one of the main um, disciplines in civil engineering. And then if you tune in next week or the next episode, we're going to talk about another one, which is geotechnics or soil mechanics. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. Bye.